News in the world of Nightingale, let's go. We just got a message from Inflection CEO Aaron Flynn about their development priorities. They've talked about how they're not going to specifically be putting out a roadmap, but they would continue communicating with us about what it is that they're working on. And that's what this is related to. He starts by talking about how he's so grateful for everyone's feedback. They're learning a lot in a short period of time, and they're trying to prioritize what they want to work on. He says they're happy with some of the elements and not satisfied with a number of others. These include network issues, confusing or missing features for core systems like crafting, and important updates to combat. They addressed a lot of things in the update yesterday, particularly urgent gaps and bugs, but there's a lot more to do and this is what they're working on as far as their priorities for short-term and medium-term goals. Their short-term development priorities include reduce connection issues, skip tutorial option, additional gameplay balances, fix ingot crafting exploits, improvements to farming loop, and auto storage stack. So it looks like that's what they consider to be the highest priority right now. I think definitely connection issues has to be the highest priority. If people can't play the game, then the rest is kind of moot. Skip tutorial option, that's a nice one to have. I wouldn't personally consider it to be urgent, but maybe some of these are things that they can just get done more quickly too. Medium term, they're looking at craft from storage. Amen, that's gotta be there. Cued crafting, that's gonna be a really good time saver. Add offline mode, I know a lot of people are waiting for that one. Questline updates, additional NPC functionality. I know Aaron wants to have a lot of different types of functions, which for the NPCs, which would be really cool to have. I'm hoping that the first thing that they're looking at with the NPCs, besides their understanding of personal space, <laughs> is them not putting our valuable resources into fires and random walls out in the world. To me, that should be a short-term high priority. Maybe that's included in this additional NPC functionality. I don't know. To me, it sounds like a fix. Improved enemy AI. Makes sense because combat is a little bit lacking in some places. New building components, which yay, I am all about more building components and decorative components that can be used in the way that we want them, not just as functional. But this is gonna continue to be an issue if we don't get a higher build limit, especially when there's multiplayer people in a realm all trying to build and you hit that very low 350 objects limit per realm. 300 structure parts, 350 objects per realm. I've had people mention in the comments that they have shells of building that they can't add anything to. Huge amounts of crafting extensions take up quite a few of those spaces as well. So fingers crossed, included in this category, they're going to be upping that limit. And new projectile weapons, which will be nice to have more diversity. They say they're also developing new content, including biome, major and minor cards, new weapons, new enemies, and more. Of course, a lot of people complain there's only three biomes, it's too repetitive, but this is early and they are planning on adding more and they are already working on that. And he says he looks forward to sharing more specifics with us. So not a roadmap, but priorities. Are these the right priorities? I would say connection issues definitely high priority. When there's so many things that need to be added or adjusted in a game, I can see how it would be challenging to decide which ones you're going to do immediately. Personally, I would go towards the ones that are more game-breaking or make it to where people don't want to play the game. Is there anything else that you think is a high enough priority that it should be on this list? If you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help little channels like this. Until next time, happy gaming.